Our next stop on our tour, of course, here is 129 Mulberry Street. Now De Janeiro's on April 7th, 1972. This would have been the infamous Umberto's Clam House. Yes. And at 5 a.m. in the morning, Joseph Luparelli, a Colombo family member, would have stopped right here at approximately 4 a.m. and he would have seen Crazy Joe Gallo park his Cadillac at that very spot right there, get out, walk into the restaurant with his bodyguard Pete the Greek, his girlfriend, of course Joe had his wife and his wife's daughter. They entered the front door here and as soon as Luparelli saw them enter the restaurant, he of course made a U-turn, went right down here to 91 Mulberry Street, which you saw earlier. In 91 Mulberry Street was sitting Sonny Pinto DiBiase. At the time, Gallo had an open contract among all five families. It was just known that if you see him, kill him on sight. No permission needed. So, of course, Sonny would have pulled his car down here, parked right here in the street here. Lou Borelli would have been driving the blocking car, would have pulled it right up into this intersection here to prevent any additional traffic from going down the street. Pinto would have walked into that back door there, and of course, sitting in the restaurant was Joe Gallo. He shot Pete the Greek first in the leg, and then turned his gun towards Gallo, firing, hitting him four times. Joe Gallo would have come out of the restaurant here, out of the front door, stumbled a mere six feet, and collapsed on the sidewalk there. Pete the Greek came out just after him and began firing at Sonny Pinto and Luparelli as they drove down the street this way. It is quite often asked and talked about the infamous bullet holes. Because of course Luparelli would have been returning fire along with two other Colombo members. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, here you are. This is one of the bullet holes and this is one of the bullet holes here. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a true story. Like and now, on with our tour.